Greetings everyone, I am Lord Malvern, and welcome back to my Merciless Ming campaign in Europa Universalis IV. So, we're chasing after the Vietnamese here. Let's see here, they've got six boats. Why don't we take our galley, galley navy, yeah. That navy's going to be no match for... That uh, Vietnamese navy's going to be no match for ours, so I'm going to park them there. And I, forgo I forgot last video to send this one off uh, to protect trade and uh, hangs out. So we'll go ahead and do that. All right, so we're gonna siege down, uh, siege, siege down these guys. We're gonna let's go ahead and detach a siege. Send this army after the uh, remaining Vietnamese army. So, having that blockade is going to help us with that siege up there. Let's see here, where are you going? You are going to Hue. Which means you probably are going to be retreating all the way down here. Alright. Let's, uh... Bring our army back up here. And let's begin carpet sieging everything. So I, I'm thinking I'm probably going to take this little corner here for myself. I'm not going to take all of uh, all of Vietnam here because that's that's going to be too much overextension for me. Uh, I forgot to detach a trans uh, a siege there. <laughs> yeah. As you can expect, I'm a little bit nervous for. Uh, because this is my first uh, YouTube video that I'm recording here. Oh, well, rather, my first uh, recording session. So. Alright, so. Maybe I should. Uh, Alright, let's, uh, I think we can take that hit for a little bit. And we're currently first in the world, which I'm sure that's first in the known world. <laughs> so I'm sure, uh, I'm sure in Europe they're, uh, they're doing a lot better than we are. They have uh, higher technology. France is probably winning the, the 100 Years War, if I had to guess, since they always win. Uh, I'm just going to be uh, sieging these guys down, won't we? Let's see what else we can do here. And Korea. Korea might be a good ally for us. You know, I mean, they are... They're also Confucian. 
I'm not going to accept it right now because we're at war, but why don't we send a diplomat there to improve relations? Hopefully we can vassalize them at some point, but uh, right now uh, we're going to ally them. Actually, let's see. Yeah, okay. We're not going to be able to vassalize them yet, but, uh... We'll see in a few videos. After I've expanded west a little bit, maybe... Maybe they'll change their minds. Alright, the siege is done, so we can... Pile it on top of, uh, one of our other... One of our other ongoing sieges. <laughs> Vietnam is trying to take back their province. Uh, you, you don't know what you're in for, Vietnam. I'm not going to just let you concede defeat like that. You're, you're not going away without, uh, I'm not, t I'm not getting rid of you without, uh, taking some land here. Alright, let's handle these guys. So I'm thinking maybe I'll uh, siege this down and uh, get these boats out and just take them out with uh, my fleet here. So we are in an inland sea, so... So our galleys are going to be very benefit, uh, are going to benefit here. Oh, let's see here. I think I'll take the prestige hit. Just since I'm, uh, I'm about to core all these, so. Let's ignore that. So I'm sure they're... Not going to be uh, giving us a reasonable offer. <laughs> okay. Merciless Ming kicking the kicking the weak puny Vietnamese. <laughs> And this, this game takes you to some dark places, you know. But I love it so. Now, you're, you're not getting out with uh, Concede Defeat, Vietnam. <laughs> I don't know how many times I'm going to have to tell you that. This is it. This is Armageddon for you. Emperor, you have reigned for some time now, and many cons have many considered time to compile another grand edition of the records of the Grand Historian. The Grand Historian himself is affiliated with the Temple Faction. Compiling a tomb detailing the fortunes of China during your reign would cost a fair bit of money and give prestige to the Temple Faction, but the benefits might outweigh the costs. Shall we put the story into work? So we would gain Army and Navy tradition... 5 prestige, we'd lose 200 ducats, gain 5 legitimacy, and the temple faction would gain 4 influence. 
or we'd gain five prestige and minus one influence. Well, <laughs> right now that seems like a no-brainer. I'm gonna just take take this. Army tradition, hell yeah. I prestige. Prestige is always nice. We're only at twenty. So having more prestige would be great. Oh, like silly me! We we forgot to set rivals. I'll have to do that when I'm uh, I'm done warring with uh, Diviet here. All right, so we should go ahead and uh, carpet siege everything else here. Because we can. <laughs> Making eleven ducats a month while at war, that's uh that's pretty good. <laughs> of course we're not really taking any losses here, we're just uh we're just doing a little cleanup job. All right. How are we doing elsewhere? This war is uh Okay, so Oirat Oirat is uh, might be a problem for us. Let's before we forget Let's start uh Let's uh pick up some plus one advisors here. Trade efficiency will be great. Uh, we don't have a plus one advisor for uh, for administration, so... Uh, let's see here. How far are we from the next tech group? We're pretty damn far. <laughs> It's because we're Chinese, so costs us uh, six, sixty percent extra. So I don't think we'll be poking at the Oi Rat anytime soon. They're uh, allied with Kuge or Guge. Where's Guge? Ah. There they are. So, they'd have to... cross through... Yutsang. Monyang would be... So, I'm probably going to... try and pick off anybody that I can here as soon as possible. That looks like Calm and uh, these three are probably going to be my next target. <laughs> Once I'm uh, done with Vietnam You're not getting off like that, Vietnam. Though these guys would also be great. Yeah. Taking some Southeast land. Southeast Asian land would not be in, would not be a bad idea. Yeah, especially since this is all one one base tax stuff. As uh, as Ming, all my 
provinces are set at minimum at uh, 50% due to being a celestial empire. Which means this uh, four, four base tax province is effectively 0.4. I can't be... Uh... Oh, I see. It's that's because it's uh, it's not, it's not uh, it's in our our culture group, but it's it's not our primary culture, which is Jian Jian Huai. Now uh, we got that navy out. We soundly defeated them. Okay. So, let's see here. Yeah, full annexation is going to cost us too much. Ah. I see Donkin is your capital. <laughs> That's why they want me to take it. Well, I mean, let's see here. Eight sixteen. So that's be forty percent overextension. We'll just wait and see what these other three provinces uh, give us. I suppose. Now. Meanwhile, why don't we see if we can't uh, send these guys over here. Since I'm, I'm thinking we'll probably want to take as many of these uh, high base tax provinces as possible, really. I mean, some of these aren't that that good, I suppose. Base base tax two. That's that that's base tax five right there. That's probably their capital. But uh, yeah, I we should take as many of these as we can because once again, we need to. That's uh. And we need to get the get a colony here as soon as possible. A colony in Taiwan would be awesome. Well, the the re <laughs> Of course, re Ryu Q's, uh is something for. Uh... We'll have to. We'll probably take care of them later. <laughs> Alright, so... Let's let these sieges progress a little bit. So, going forward, what do I want to be doing? I want to be... making colonies. Which means I should probably... take the exploration idea as soon as possible. I want to be expanding westward. I want to be, uh getting into contact with uh, with the West as soon as I can so I can westernize and uh, I think uh, I think conquering Vietnam here is going to be a step in the right direction oh, he's suffering casualties right now oh I guess it's because uh, attrition here Getting everyone over to Yuan, Yunnan. Okay, so we can't actually put everyone here. We're gonna have to spread out our armies a little bit, but we're going to. Going to need the help of all of these armies to uh, quell rebellions in, in Vietnam here. Peace offer from Vietnam. Not going to 
worry about that. Could convert provinces in our region. Uh, let's see here. And we have pretty uh, high tolerance of heretics, so... I'm not necessarily going to... Uh, worry about that right now. Hmm. Yeah, I think I think we're good with our current uh, current infantry. East Station. Let's see here. Yeah, yeah, we're we're good with our defaults. Now, of course, this is all stuff I probably uh, should have taken care of first thing, but uh, you know. I, I, I don't always remember to do that. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to take a take a break here. Uh, if you like the video, be sure to hit the like button below it. And uh, as always, I'll see you next time.